<laughs> What's going on everybody? Welcome back! And as always, if you a real one, drop a like on the video. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and turn your channel notifications on. Today we're going to be going over batting tips and the best settings post patch. So strike zone high. That is the best if you have any type of difficulty hitting the ball. Strike zone high is the hitting view, in play view offense I like to have on high and then I like to have PCI center and inner none. If you look down below, PCI outer I like to have at basic and then once you get into the match, the number one key is plate discipline. What I mean by plate discipline, everybody's gonna say it's harder to say it than to do it I'm gonna give you the easiest method. So drop a like on the video right now and pay attention to the end because you're gonna have to put all these together and utilize them. Plate discipline. No matter what the pitch is, fastball down the middle, slider, curveball, you're not gonna swing at the pitch until you get number two down peck. And we're gonna go over that in a second. So the number one key is plate discipline. The number two key is make a plan. When you put them together, you are going to start winning 80 to 90 percent more games. So making a plan, plate discipline. I have my PCI in the area. You can see it's a zero zero count. Look at the bottom of the screen. So where I place my PCI is the only place I'm going to be swinging at a pitch. If it's a fastball high in the zone, it's a curveball to the outside and it falls in the zone. I'm not swinging at none of them. That's not where my PCI at unless I have two strikes. And then once you have two strikes on you, you have to go into survival mode. So number two, make a plan. So we got plate discipline and make a plan. We're going to mash these together. So if my PCI is starting high, I'm not swinging at anything low. You can see I'm letting that go past. It ended up being a ball. But if it would have fell in the strike zone, I didn't want it. Now. He throws a off-speed pitch right into my PCI. You got to make a small adjustment. One hair to the left, one hair up, one hair down. You don't want to have to jerk your PCI. Now, once you mash them all together, you're going to see your home runs skyrocket. If you was getting two to three home runs a game, you will start getting five to seven home runs a game. You will start getting more triples, more doubles, more singles. Hitting batters in so you don't get runners stuck on bases. You don't have to steal and take as many chances. Use these together. Plate discipline and having a plan. I'm going to keep my PCI low and to the left a little bit until I get two strikes. I'm going to keep my PCI high until I get two strikes. I'm going to keep my PCI straight in the middle until I get two strikes. Make a plan. Don't have your finger nowhere near the button unless he throws it according to your plan. If y'all enjoyed this breakdown, I guarantee, use it, stick to it. Even if you lose game, go into casual offline, put these together, plate discipline, make a plan, mash them all together, and watch your winning percentage go out the roof. If y'all rocking with me, I got y'all. They did just patch the game if you're this far in the video. So, using the intentional walk method, the highest I got today, it's 12k xp so they butchered the cpu method but if you stay tuned i will be working on another one and bring it to y'all asap let's go <laughs>